Second is REM. R E M. Okay, this is because of the indicators that I use inside. The name is because of the indicators that I use inside. Okay, and this strategy is only for the Bitcoin on the one hour chart. Okay, the Haiken Ashi strategy, it was for all assets. While the REM is only for Bitcoin, on one hour. So the first indicator that I will place on the chart it is called envelopes. Okay, so this is a similar indicator like the line we had. But the difference is that we have two lines. I will format them to make them more visual. And for inputs, so you see how it looks like on the chart. Okay, I choose yellow. Okay, so you see how it looks. It is two lines above and below the price. And they are always equal distance between them. Okay, the default parameters that we have for the indicator is 20 and 10. What I will change it to is 10 and 0 0.5. And I will tell you later how I know which parameters to use. So you see the difference when I click on OK. It gets very small over the price. Yeah? So here we have the entry. When the new bar opens below upper line, after opening above it. So one more time. The bar opens below the upper line. After opening below it. Okay. All of these bars they are inside, right? Here it goes up. And this bar it opens above the upper line. It goes down, it closes. And the next one opens below the upper band or the upper line. So we want to see one bar that opens above. Opens over the indicator. And the next one opens inside. This is where we buy. Okay, so we want the price to go up and when it comes back to the indicator we buy again. Let me show you another more visual example. 
分かりやすいところを見に行きましょう。OK。OK、This is for the other direction to sell. でこれはまた、えっと、売り局面の。So here is the opposite thing. We want the price to be below the indicator. So, when it goes back inside, we will sell. Sell. Yeah. So, if the price is below the indicator, under the indicator, We wait to see a bar that opens inside. And we sell. When the price is above the indicator, we want to see one bar that opens inside. この線が中に入るのを待ちます。And we buy. そして買います。Okay? So, 大丈夫ですか ?We have one more indicator to confirm the trade. そしてこのトレードを、えー、確信を持つためのもう一個の根拠をお見せします。It is called momentum indicator. 次のものはモーメンタのインジケーターと言います。And it is displayed below the chart. So let me just write here the indicators. We have envelopes. We have 10 and 0.5%. And then we have the momentum. モーメンタルもう一つのインジケーターですね。これは28というフォーマットで使います。このモーメンタルというのがこの下にあるの見えますかこの点々、白い点々、白い点々。I will format and instead of 10, I will place 28. Okay, let me make it yellow again, a little bit more visual. Here it is. I will remove these lines from the Heiken Ashi. Okay, so what we have is if we are buying. We want to see the momentum falling. Simply here, the idea is to buy when the price is cheap and to sell when the price is expensive. To buy when it's cheap. And to sell when it's expensive. Yeah. And on the short term, on one hour chart. Alright, so here, for example, we said we will buy right when we have one bar opening inside the indicator. And at this time, we need to see the momentum falling. Just when you put the mouse on it, you see there is a line and it shows you is it falling or is it rising. Alright? On the other side, here when we are selling, The price is below the chart, below the indicator. When it gets back into the indicator, we will sell if the momentum is rising. So you can see at this moment here, 
It is rising. Right? So we can sell it. Let's have the current let's have a look at the current moment. So at the current moment we have the price inside. Which means the price is just staying sideways and we cannot really do anything. Right, when the price is just up and down, up and down, we better stay out. <laughs> so let's have a look at this example. Okay, here we can sell. I will put a horizontal line. Okay, price is below the indicator, it gets inside. And at this time, the momentum at the before the opening of this bar right here, it is rising. So on the opening of this one, we sell. Now, I will put a stop loss and a take profit. Does everybody know what is a stop loss and take profit? Stop and limit? Okay, we'll explain it very, very simply. For example, if we sell here, we can put a stop loss on the top. I will make it red. Which means that if the price reaches to this level, we close the position on loss. And this is automatic, you don't need to stay in front of the computer. At the same time, we can put another line below. Which are, will be our limit or our profit. Okay, so when you open the trade, you set the levels. So if they are reached, the trade will close automatically. Now for this strategy, we have stop of 200. $200. And we have limit. Or somewhere you will find like profit. Okay. With five hundred dollars. So you see the profit is much bigger than the stop. Which means that if you have two negative trades and one positive you will still make profit. So let's see if this example will be profit or loss. I took it really randomly. Okay, so the entry is about 9,987, or let me just make it a round number to 10,000 so everybody will understand. So 10,000. It means our stop loss will be at 10,200. And our take profit will be at 9,500. So you see what happens. Price goes down. We are on a profit. It goes on a loss. Very, very close to the loss here. 
And then it goes down to our profit. Now the idea is that you put your trade, you put your stop loss and take profit. And you don't think about it. Okay, you close your computer, go out to work or to walk. Alright? So this way we avoid the emotions. And what will happen normally if people trade manually here is they will take their profit somewhere if they see the price going against them. Or what will normally happen is if you see the price going against you, goes to the zero line, you will close it because you don't want to have losses, right? This is because you put emotions into it, you don't want to lose. But this is the idea of having a stop loss and a take profit. The trade will close automatically, you don't need to touch it. This way we avoid the emotions in 100%. You have your indicators, you have your setup, your situation for trading. You put stop loss, you put take profit. And you can go to look for the other trades. This one is done, finish. It's finished for you. Okay, it doesn't matter what will happen. Don't think about it. Alright, so this is really the only way you can avoid the emotions when you're trading. And I will add one more indicator for taking profit. Do you want to take a break? Okay, after this strategy we completed, that we will make a break. So, one more indicator to take the profit. It is called RVI. Yeah, Relative Vigor Index. It's Relative Vigor Index. RVI. RVI. Take profit with RVI. Take profit with RVI. Okay, and here we will use input not 10 but 35. I will make it again more visual. Okay, so you have two lines below the chart that are crossing each other. So when the red, when the green line crosses the red line downwards, we take profit. And you can see for our example, it is crossing it right here. Right here. Is it visible? No, you can see it. Turn off the light and yeah, one more time. Here? It's here, okay? The green line 
should cross the red line downwards. Okay, you can see this is somewhere in the middle. So it's like when the price goes down and it starts to move up again. This is another place where you can take your profit. Okay, so for example, you can take 50% out and leave the rest 50 for the stop loss and to take profit.